the Jewish Federation of Southern New Jersey. Before we begin, it's important to recognize the victims of the horrific anti-Semitic attack on the Tree of Life Synagogue in Pittsburgh on this day two years ago. Please take a moment of silence with me now to remember. Thank you. I feel fortunate to be coming to you live from my home office in Voorhees. And I wanna welcome you all to our 2020 joint annual meeting tonight. Thank you all for being part of such a special evening. This production was done in house with all of the love, sweat and tears poured into this project by our own Charlene Green, Director of Leadership and Learning and Andy Goldman, Operations Manager. We didn't hire an outside production company for this incredible program you are about to watch. So thank you, Charlene and Andy for making tonight happen. Now to kick things off, a sincere mazel tov to David Ari Holnick on receiving the Shelley Greenspun Young Leadership Award this evening, and also wishing you and Jill a wonderful and happy anniversary. And congratulations to my dear friend, Glenn Furman, on receiving our community's highest award, the H. Richard Dollinger Award. You are so deserving of this, and I am so grateful for all you do for our community. Thank you to everyone joining us this evening for our first joint federation and agency annual meeting. I am so proud of our federation system and all we've accomplished this year, despite all the challenges we face. Our honorees, presidents, and boards are all online with us tonight, and the Zoom chat is open, so you can give your own shout outs, muzzle tubs, and congratulations to our honorees, presidents, and boards in the chat. Now, on with the show. I am Eric Fingerhut. I'm the president and CEO of the Jewish Federations of North America. What a privilege it is for me to participate with you in this annual meeting of the wonderful Jewish Federation of Southern New Jersey and to thank you all for the incredible work you do for your communities, for the Jewish people uh, around North America and around the world. I want to say a special word of thanks to Neil Levin, uh, your outgoing president for his remarkable two years of service, Kol HaKavod. I want to wish a Hatzlacha, great success uh, to Harry Platt, uh, the incoming uh, chair. I want to congratulate and thank Glenn Furman, who is the recipient of tonight's H. Richard Dollinger Community Service Award. Uh, I also want to congratulate David Ari Hulnick, uh, who is uh, the recipient of the Shelley Greenspun Young Leadership Award. Thank you, uh, and we look forward to so much more. Uh, service that you'll provide. I also want to thank my good friend, your terrific executive, Jennifer Dubrow Weiss, for all of her very special efforts on behalf of this community and her contributions uh, to Jewish communal leadership. You know, uh, when the Torah is open on Saturday mornings, before we return it and close the ark, we say a series of blessings. We call them Misha Berach, which literally means to be blessed. So I wanna bless you in those words because we bless uh, in the name of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and four mothers, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, kol hakahala kadosh hazeh, this holy community, v'chol mi she'oskim b'tzorchei tzibur be'emunah, and all those who serve the community with faith, with truth, with justice, with love. That's what you do in Southern New Jersey. Thank you so much to the wonderful leadership of all of the agencies that comprise the Jewish Federation of Southern New Jersey. Have a wonderful meeting. Good evening, everyone. I'm honored to have been asked to give the Devar Torah, a very brief Devar Torah for tonight's annual meeting. Well, this week we're reading Parshat Lech Lecha, the story of Abraham Avinu. And as many of you know, Helene and I moved here from Montgomery, Alabama, some 26 years ago. In Alabama, the translation for Lech Lecha is get her done. Don't just sit around, do something, take action, move forward. And that is certainly a fitting description of those who are being honored here this evening 
starting with my good friend, Harry Platt, who will be the incoming president. Harry embodies compassion and fairness and vision and tireless energy and is going to be a fantastic leader of Federation. Neil Levin, you have done a terrific job and Yasher Koach to you. Greatly honored also to say that David Holnick is the recipient of the Shelley Greenspun Award, a devoted member of our congregation and a good friend of mine. Speaking of good friends, Mazel Tov Glenn Furman on the Dick Dollinger, Dick Dollinger Award that you are receiving this evening as well. And of course, we quell with Nachas that Charlene Green is getting the Staff Achievement Award recognized by her peers for her leadership. Want to wish a Yasher Koach to Marjorie Dannenbaum and to Marcy Dash Friedman, who will be also leading proud agencies of the Federation. Each and every one of you is someone who knows what it means to roll up your sleeves and get it done, routinely going above and beyond for the Jewish community. Lech Lecha, go in peace, and you will be most successful. Thank you to Eric Fingerhut for joining our program tonight on behalf of Jewish Federations of North America. And thank you, Rabbi Krupnik, for your always inspiring words. I'm so glad to see so many of you on here with us tonight. I see you, Minarek, and I see you, Harp Cohen. I see you, Don Kaplan. Now to continue. Being president of the Jewish Federation is not an easy task. The issues our community faces and the decisions we must make for the betterment of our community are sometimes extremely difficult and require strategic thinking, accountability, tenacity, and grace. Neil, you have so generously given of yourself over the past two years. Your thoughts and wisdom have guided us through many challenges and difficult decisions. And you've changed us for the better with your expertise. Your care for our Federation system can be seen in the countless hours you spent reading and understanding our constitution, processing issues in the car with Andy, and helping us to change our vocabulary. Under your presidency, we have addressed the COVID-19 pandemic, opened Olive Adult Day Center and Weinberg Commons, merged back office operations, and began a new partnership with Secure Community Network to bring Daron Horowitz to the community as our first ever regional security advisor. Some of my most favorite memories and laughs this year came from you, your mask wearing public service announcement video and Andy's barbershop video of the president getting his COVID haircut. Neil, we are forever grateful for your guidance and oversight. Thank you. And thank you, Andy, Michael, Samara, Rachel, Bob, Yosef, and Moshe for sharing Neil with us as we know the demands placed on him by virtue of this position and profession. Hi, Neil. The whole family is so proud of the work that you've accomplished over the last two years as president of the Jewish Federation. You clearly have been guided by your deep compassion and concern for your entire community, and your dedication is commendable. Now, enjoy your time and your new role as the bearer of wisdom as the immediate past president and get some rest. Mazel tov. Congrats on completing your presidency, Dad. We're so proud of you. We love, love you. you. Congratulations on finishing your term as Federation President, Dad. I'm so proud of all the hard work you put into this position. Mazel tov. Hi, Dad. It's been great watching your dedication over the past several decades to volunteer efforts designed to improve the Jewish community in Southern New Jersey. It's been really exciting over the past several years to watch your time as Federation president, where you served as an excellent role model. Congratulations on finishing your term, and I hope you'll continue having the opportunity to serve the Jewish community in South Jersey for years to come. Neil, Yashar Kowak on a job well done. 
The last two years, especially the last eight months, have been challenging beyond our collective imaginations. You have calmly delivered great leadership, taking us through uncharted waters with skills second to none. As your officers, we thank you for your dedication to the many tasks at hand when we needed it most. Good evening, and thank you all for coming together for this joint annual meeting for Jewish Federation and our wonderful agencies, JFCS, JCC, JCRC, Jewish Community Voice, JCP, Senior Housing, and the Jewish Community Foundation. We are truly a remarkable community, and I am grateful and humbled for the opportunity to have served as president over the past two years. Before I review our accomplishments and say thank you, I would like to highlight some additional details about a story I shared in my installation speech two years ago. As a 13 year old, I traveled along with my best friend for a five week backpacking trip to Israel alone. It was an amazing adventure and a formative experience that was unforgettable. From the moment our 747 landed on the runway at Ben Gurion Airport, we faced unexpected challenges that helped me develop important life skills, including resiliency, self-reliance, and inner strength. An armored personnel carrier approached our plane and IDF soldiers armed with Uzis boarded to examine passports and interrogate some passengers looking for potential terrorists. It was an era of hijackings and airport shootings. This was my first plane trip and a firsthand experience of a world responding to terrorism and violent anti-Semitism. My friend Michael and I traveled the entire land of Israel by bus. Arriving at a youth hostel at the Dead Sea one evening, we found the facility full. We shared a can of warm peaches and slept on the beach that night. We learned to adapt quickly in the face of a variety of other challenging situations. We also experienced why hitchhiking is not always safe especially near sunset, on a road a few miles from the border with Lebanon, with our money in a pouch around my neck and within easy reach of our driver. You get the picture. The most lasting impact of that trip was that I solidified my core Jewish identity. The past two years as president of Jewish Federation was also an amazing adventure and certainly filled with unexpected challenges. I'm very proud of everything our Jewish Federation system accomplished together. I was installed shortly after the massacre at the Tree of Life Synagogue. Unfortunately, we live in a world with increased acts of anti-Semitism, including violent acts and murder. Our community responded by working with secure community networks with funding support from the Saltzman Foundation and brought in Daron Horowitz as our regional security director. He met with key leaders in our, our community and empowered us to be active in our response to security threats and helped us become more resilient. Federation, under the leadership of our CEO, Jen Weiss, fully developed and built both phases of Weinberg Commons, our integrated affordable housing for seniors and adults with special needs. Importantly, through Jen's tremendous fundraising efforts, we were able to pay off the $4.2 million mortgage on the property and create some endowment funds. Thank you as well to JFCS, who is providing on-site services to the special needs clients who have recently moved in. We initiated a senior services commission that examined opportunities to better coordinate providing meals and meeting the transportation and education needs for older clients. Although implementation of some new initiatives were postponed by COVID-19, I am hopeful that ultimately it will improve the way we deliver some of these services. As we all know, the world changed in 2020 with the COVID-19 pandemic. Nothing could really prepare us for what we faced individually as families and as a community. However, we each bring life skills to each challenge and try to adapt. We should all be proud of how the staff at Jewish Federation and the agencies 
responded quickly to transition to working from home to continue to provide services to our vulnerable populations. We are grateful for your self-sacrifice and dedication to enable us to meet our mission. Thank you to the staff at Olive Home Care and Senior Housing for caring for their clients during the pandemic. You are our healthcare heroes. Thank you to all of you who are generous in supporting our COVID-19 response fund. We raised more than $500,000, including from our funding partners, the Saltzman Foundation, Jewish Community Foundation, and the Jewish Women's Foundation. A significant portion of the funds were just distributed to the Family Assistance Program at JFCS, helping individuals facing food insecurity or who needed some financial assistance. Financially, as an integrated system, we faced a significant challenge. I appreciate the collaborative effort and the role of our financial task force played in detailing the scope of the deficit and in implementing difficult decisions to reduce our expenses. We were fortunate to receive $2.9 million in PPP funds that helped us through the fiscal year. We reconfigured how we function as a system and are bringing together all of the agency finance, fundraising, and marketing personnel to function as teams within Jewish Federation to port, support system-wide needs. I'm optimistic that we will emerge stronger. There are numerous individuals who helped me along the way. I'm particularly grateful to Don Love, Harvey Shapiro, Vicki Zell, and Glenn Furman, who helped mentor me in various phases of my leadership journey at Jewish Federation. I'm grateful to all of the agency presidents with whom I had the opportunity to work. Jen, thank you for being a visionary leader with a tremendous understanding of what we can aspire to be and the fundraising skills to make it happen. Our community is so fortunate to have you guiding us every day. I will miss our regular calls, texts, emails, and meetings. You always kept me informed and provided inspiration and support. I know you had my back. Thanks for agreeing to co-write our screenplay, J Fed Sweet, a blend of Seinfeld's observational comedy and West Wing's political intrigue. I'm hoping that Olive Studios will greenlight the script. I'm confident that you will transition smoothly to work with Harry as he takes over. Best wishes to Harry as you begin your term as president. Also, thank you and our officers, Ed, Ivy, and Missy. I appreciate your input and support in making important decisions over the past two years. Congratulations to Scott on becoming vice president. Thank you to my parents for providing me with my very special trip to Israel many decades ago and for raising me to be the person I am today. Also, thank you both and Andy's mother for your examples of philanthropy and leadership in your communities. Michael, Rachel, and Samara, mom and I hope that you will be active and generous leaders in your communities. Andy, thank you for encouraging me to join you more than 25 years ago in getting involved in our Jewish Federation. You have been by my side throughout the journey and I am grateful for your love, support and advice. You are one of the very special leaders who have contributed so much through your volunteer career. I look forward to continuing to contribute to strengthening our wonderful community. Thank you all for your support. Thank you so much for these two years. We are stronger because of you. We are better because of you. And we are so grateful. And many of you may or may not know, but one of Neil's favorite parts of being president was the ability to write his article for The Voice. So this is a compilation of some articles that we thought would be perfect with uh, the dates of your presidency. So I hope you this brings you a lot of happiness and joy. That is so thoughtful. It's being past president of the Community <laughs> Voice. I never thought I'd also be a columnist there. <laughs> but if becoming president of Jewish Federation was my way to get uh, some column time, that's really wonderful. And it was a really special part of being president. Uh, and I'm very proud of my work. And uh, thank you very much. It's a wonderful, wonderful uh, commemorative item of treasure. Enjoy. Thank you so much to all of you who served on an agency board or Federation Board this past year and have completed your term of service. 
the names of these individuals are on your screen. I hereby discharge you from your respective boards. You are exemplary leaders and we look forward to your continued contribution to our community. Thank you. Before we install this year's agency boards, we would like to take a moment to hear from Jeff Resnick and Marcy Dash Friedman, the JCC's outgoing and incoming presidents and Miriam Feldman and Margie Dannenbaum, JFCS's outgoing and incoming presidents. Executive board, board, the JCC as a whole, I know you're gonna be great. The only advice I would give you though is uh, don't ever hesitate to rely on the executive board or the board. Uh, it's a big job, it's a lot of work, it's all worth it, but there may be times when you feel like you wanna hand something off, don't ever hesitate to call me or anybody else on the board, we're here for you. Thank you, I appreciate that very much. And I look forward to the next year and hope everything is um, a continuing progressive forward. Margie and I are here in front of the new Weinberg Commons. Um, we're so excited. Seven of our 16 residents in the last month have moved in to their beautiful one bedroom apartments. They're so happy to be here and living independently. It's really an exciting moment for everyone. Margie, JFCS is so lucky that you will be its next president. Your love and commitment to this, to JFCS and to this community as a whole is really evident. I know your tenure as president will be so successful. My advice for you, well, remember I'm serving during a pandemic. <laughs> so just when you think the road is smooth and direct and everything's going perfectly, be careful when you turn the corner, because it just might be the biggest pothole you've ever seen. But brace for impact, hold on tight, stay the course, and you will be just fine. Your JFCS vehicle is so strong and the team behind you is so terrific. So happy for you, Mazel tov. Thank you. Enjoy these next few years, take them all in, and I'm excited to work with you and be your immediate best president. <laughs> Thank you, Miriam. I am very excited to take on my new role and to build upon all the wonderful things that people have built before me. It's gonna be great. We have an incredible community and I am truly honored and privileged to be a part of this amazing agency and this wonderful community. It's all yours. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you to everyone for their service. Our board members put their heart and soul into everything we do. We are grateful for the passion and dedication you each deliver to our volunteer positions to make our system and our community better. Muzzle tow to Marjorie and Marcy on your presidencies and thank you Miriam and Jeff for an amazing two years of leadership. Thank you, Jamie, Sidria, Harriet, Scott, Janine, Zev, Larry and Jeff Gottlieb, I see you all. Thank you for being here and I hope you're enjoying tonight's program. Pivot and unprecedented are words we've heard over and over and over again during the past seven months. We've done our own fair share of pivoting as a system. The early days and weeks of the pandemic closures were especially critical in identifying and meeting the needs of our community and changing how we do things from day-to-day -day back office administration to service delivery. Within 72 hours of closing our doors in March, every agency in our system had jumped into action, creating new crisis response programs, moving our programs to a virtual format and ensuring that social distancing didn't mean social isolation for Jewish South Jersey. There's more on our COVID-19 response later, but first. Here we go, pivot! <laughs> pivot! <laughs> pivot! The presidents of Jewish Federation's agencies also serve on the Federation board by virtue of their position. The agencies are the essence of our Federation, and we recognize that their success and viability relies on the leadership of their presidents. It is now my honor to install the agency presidents. Continuing in their role are Jeff Shackett, Jewish Community Relations Council, Jan Apple, Jewish Community Voice, Allison Platt Tarnapol, Jewish Senior Housing and Healthcare Service, Sidria Schaefer, Jewish Community Foundation, 
Casey is Daner, Jewish Community Properties. And the new agency presidents, Marcy Dash Friedman, Katz Jewish Community Center, Margie Dannenbaum, Samos Jewish Family and Children's Service. The Hebrew word hineni means here I am. Please signify that you formally accept these responsibilities as the president of your agency, as well as a member of the Federation Board by saying hineni. Hineni. This year has been extremely eventful at Jewish Senior Housing and Healthcare Services. And as we look to next year, we envision providing innovative and meaningful ways to keep our seniors connected and physically and mentally well. We look forward to working with our sister agencies to ensure our combined missions of service and Jewish heritage and ensuring that we remain as Lionsgate a premier living community. This past year, Jewish Senior Housing made the difficult decision to sell Dubin and Gesher houses. As the Jewish population in those buildings dwindled and the age of those buildings continued to grow, we wanted to find the best way to continue to care for our Jewish residents, but also provide all of the people living there with the best, most updated physical plan. We came to realize the best way was to sell the buildings and we set out to find a management group that would ensure a partnership with us to be able to continue to provide for holidays, festivals, and other appropriate assistance to our Jewish residents. With the help of Neil Cooper Smith, Andy Levin, David Guten, and Susan Love, we were able to find a most wonderful buyer in Capital Realty Group and House of David. They have maintained a kosher kitchen at the buildings and they provided for Rosh Hashanah services and will continue to provide for the residents. And our agency will be delivering gift bags, which we did on Rosh Hashanah, as well as for all the holidays and festivals. We continue to manage Saltzman House and it's a full house of happy residents. Our activities director continues to find ways to engage the residents virtually, and in the coming year, we're planning to partner with Weinberg Commons with our activities director, who will provide activities to those residents as well. We also look forward to continuing our partnership with JFCS, who provides mental health clinicians to visit with the residents at Saltzman in the residents' apartments. As you can imagine, Lionsgate was hit hard by the global pandemic. But you may not know what rock stars we have in Susan Love and her entire team at Lionsgate. If it was humanly possible, it was done to contain and mitigate the spread of the deadly virus. Our frontline workers, every one of them, ensured that our cherished Lionsgate family was safe, well cared for, and content during this unprecedented lockdown. While we mourn the loss of those residents who passed from COVID, we honor and will never forget the heroic actions of our Lionsgate staff. And we're in the process of moving into phase one which will allow for scheduled indoor visitation in the residents' rooms and limited indoor activities and dining. Our independent living sales are booming again now that we can have people move in. And we have reached people well beyond our immediate geographic area with new residents that are coming to Lionsgate. So yes, we've had quite a busy year, but JSHHS is blessed with an incredibly visionary board with diverse expertise and genuine care and compassion for the quality of life of our seniors. I'm looking forward to working with them, our federation leadership and agency presidents again in this coming year. Mazel tov. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. Mazel tov. Thank you. As I am about to take on this new role as JFCS's president, I am reminded of something my mom once said to me as I was about to talk to a large crowd. She said that I shouldn't be nervous because there's not a person who is listening who does not want you to do well. She calmed me immediately. Although this message is recorded and there is an option for a do-over, I am calm as I become JFCS's president. I have wonderful partners in all the agencies. I am so grateful for Miriam Feldman, Marla Myers, Beth Wynn, and all the professionals and lay leaders who are part of JFCS. I am confident that as we work together towards a common goal, we can make our community stronger. I bet if you're listening tonight, you understand the power of community. My mom understood this, and I feel so lucky to have learned from her. As I see it, community gives people a sense of purpose. Community connects people. Community helps people in need. True community embodies so much potential to truly change the world. As JFCS's president, I hope to use my platform to help people in need in our community. I hope to build upon all the dedicated leaders that came before me. I hope to collaborate with all the organizations in our community to have a positive impact for us all. 
JFCS is an incredible agency that is part of an amazing system that inspires us all to do better and be better. I'm truly humbled to be able to use my privilege to be part of something so much bigger than myself. Thank you for this opportunity and please join me in working together to give help and give hope. Mazel tov. <laughs> Mazel tov. Mazel tov. Thank Mazel tov. you. The communications hub of the Southern New Jersey Jewish community. One of our major goals, we will thrive, but we need to do this as a community. Um, we're now working with Federation. They're helping us try to, you know, with some of our marketing, with some of our business, with hoping to get more revenue ideas for additional revenue streams. We're doing all kinds of brainstorming. We recently launched the Avoy Strategic Planning Committee, where there are people from other agencies, other leaders on that committee, so we can put expertise from all different types of fields. We put our heads together so we can ensure that we will still be alive in the future. The voice has continued and we strive to keep our website more relevant and social media more relevant. Recently, the website has gotten a lot more traffic as well as we have a lot more visibility on social media. Well, the news never stops and the Jewish community news is critically important to all of us. There is still a segment of our community that has a sense of comfort from the print paper. So we're trying to complement the print with the um, digital and we want to continue that, but we want to work to continue to strengthen the two of them together. But overall, just committed to staying alive and continuing to be the communications hub. Mazel tov. Mazel tov. Mazel tov. My goals for this year and next for our wonderful JCC is to keep our doors open to our community through this difficult time and have everyone enjoy all of our wonderful programs. We want to bring our membership back and we'd like to provide a very safe and healthy environment for everyone. Our programs are strong. We have our sports award dinner, our arts books and, and culture program is committed for two weeks this year. It's online, totally online. We have sold out on our sponsorships, which is wonderful. We just completed a pro-am at the Galloway Golf Club and it went well. And I'm happy to say that we did a nice raise of monies. We're looking forward to watching our J Hearts and J School programs, which are new, grow. We also are truly grateful for our early childhood program and hope that our parents are very comfortable sending their children to the programs that are open and staffed forward to working with the agencies and help better our community. Mazel tov. Mazel, tov. Mazel tov. Thanks. My fellow presidents have mentioned what is perhaps the biggest challenge for all of us right now, and that's obviously dealing with the pandemic. But if you think about three of the other issues that are posing such important challenges, not only for our community, but for the world around us, they happen to be issues for which the JCRC was purposefully built. One, questions about relationships with communities outside the Jewish community, questions of racial injustice of building bridges to those who don't exactly look like us. Two, all of the headlines around the political season, especially those related to Israel, and where we stand on matters of public policy that affect us right here in the backyard. And three, the rise, the painful, inevitable, it seems, rise of anti-Semitism, spilling into our schools, onto college campuses, and in some cases, right down the street. The goals for the JCRC have been and remain to stand up and speak out where anti-Semitism rises, to serve as a vehicle for the entire Federation system, its leaders, its constituents, to reach to our public officials make them aware of what we need and what we think and what we want and how they can help us, serve as a source of insights about our community, its resources, its reach and its capabilities. And finally, 
to gather inside our own community the kinds of folks who want to reach out and engage our neighbors, whatever their skin tone, whatever their religion, whatever their background, wherever they live, and build around us a kind of vibrant, engaged, interesting, welcoming, open, tolerant, loving environment that all of us want. Mazel tov. Mazel tov. Mazel tov. Thank you. My name is Sidria Schaefer, and I'm proud to represent the Jewish Community Foundation as its current president. Throughout this past year, the Jewish Community Foundation has been able to support Jewish Federation, its agencies, and our greater Jewish community with a record $3.1 million in grants. These dollars have allowed our donors to continue to support their favorite cause throughout a year of considerable crises. JCF is proud to have been able to donate $50,000 to the Jewish Federation's COVID-19 Relief Fund. We also collaborated on numerous other programs and services, all with the goal of helping the community through our grants and scholarship program. The Jewish Community Foundation does not raise dollars for ourselves. The Jewish Community Foundation raises dollars to, to support our partners, such as Jewish Federation its family, and its family of agencies. JCF donors who establish donor advised funds and endowment funds are able to optimize their charitable giving to support Jewish Federation, its family of agencies, day schools, synagogues, and the, and the nonprofits they are passionate about. Last month, the JCF launched its new legacy giving website, jcflegacy.com. This website provides tools to help donors plan their estates, their charitable legacies, and maximize their philanthropy. jcflegacy.com will serve as a resource for Federation's long-term goal of having a sustainable future. We anticipate that this website will become a starting point for countless donors who want to learn about how to leave a legacy. This year, JCF will work hand in hand with Federation to spearhead its goal of having a sustainable future. We will cultivate this partnership with, as we find new and innovative ways to provide support to countless community members. In the past year, our partnership with the Federation and agencies has grown as new legacy gifts have been established and received. One such endowment received this year is the one created by Sis Levy of Blessed Memory, which benefits multiple Jewish Federation agencies and provides them with income every year for generations to come. The JCF welcomes the opportunity to partner with many new and existing donors as we strengthen the Jewish community by working together. And I welcome working with our new presidents in this coming year. Mazel tov. Mazel tov. Mazel tov. Mazel tov. Jewish community properties works behind the scenes. So most of the work that we do is not seen by uh, everybody. So last year we collaborated on projects with the JCC, Jewish Family and Children's Services, Senior Housing, and the Jewish Federation on projects such as the renovation of the social hall, the parking lot expansion, and the adult daycare initiative. This year, our big starting off this year is to assist in a smooth transition back into the building for not only the JCC, but for all the agencies. We continue to work with the JCC to control the occupancy expenses of the building. We also maintain and work to control the occupancy costs at the 1721 community building. Each year we review, adapt, and update our 10-year capital plans for the 1301 Springdale Building, JCC Camps in Medford, and the 1721 Community Building. We know there's a lot of challenges faced ahead of us this year, and we will continue to strive to make the building as good as possible. Mazel tov. Mazel tov. Mazel tov. It is my pleasure to install the members of the agency boards. The names of the new or renominated board members are on your screen as well as in tonight's program. You have been chosen and have accepted service to our community as a member of Samos Jewish Family and Children's Service Board of Directors. JFCS provides a full array of social services and innovative programs to meet the needs of vulnerable individuals. In accepting this position of board member, you're accepting all of the responsibilities that traditionally go with this office. To signify this acceptance, 
I ask that you provide affirmation by together repeating after me the Hebrew word hineni, which means I am here. I am here to accept the responsibilities of my office. Hineni. You have been chosen and have accepted service to our community as a member of the Katz Jewish Community Center Board of Directors. The JCC helps build connections to promote health and wellness, education and culture to people of all ages. In accepting this position of board member, you are accepting all of the responsibilities that traditionally go with this high office. To signify this acceptance, I ask that you provide affirmation by together repeating after me the Hebrew statement, Hineni, which means I am here. I am here to accept the responsibilities of my office. Hineni. You are now duly installed. You have been chosen and have accepted service to our community as a member of the Jewish Community Properties Board of Directors. JCP is committed to maintaining our beautiful properties and keeping them in top condition now and in the future. In accepting this position of board member, you are accepting all of the responsibilities that traditionally go with this high office. To signify this acceptance, I ask that you provide affirmation by together repeating after me the Hebrew statement, Hineni, which means I am here. I am here to accept the responsibilities of my office. Hineni. You are now duly installed. You have been chosen and have accepted service to our community as a member of the Jewish Senior Housing and Healthcare Service Board of Trustees. Senior housing serves the residential needs of our seniors through their CCRC at Lionsgate and affordable housing at the Saltzman House. We are grateful for their care and proud of their five-star rated skilled nursing facility. In accepting this position of board member, you are accepting all of the responsibilities that traditionally go with this high office. To signify this acceptance, I ask that you provide affirmation by together repeating after me the Hebrew statement, Hineni, which means I am here. I am here to accept the responsibilities of my office. Hineni. You are now duly installed. You have been chosen and have accepted service to our community as a member of the Jewish Community Voice Management Board. The voice is our communications hub, bringing news about the full spectrum of our wonderful Jewish community to our homes every two weeks and online anytime. In accepting this position of board member, you are accepting all of the responsibilities that traditionally go with this high office. To signify this acceptance, please say after me the Hebrew phrase, Hineni, which means I am here. I am here to accept the responsibilities of my office. Hineni. You are now duly installed. You have been chosen and have accepted service to our community as a member of the Jewish Community Relation Council Board of Directors. The JCRC helps our community respond to anti-Semitism, educates students and adults about the Holocaust, and promotes Israel advocacy. In accepting this position as board member, you are accepting all of the responsibilities that traditionally go with this high office. To signify this acceptance, I ask that you provide affirmation by together repeating after me the Hebrew word hineni, which means I am here. I am here to accept the responsibilities of my office. Hineni. You are now duly installed. You have been chosen and have accepted service to our community as a member of the Jewish Community Foundation Board of Trustees. The Jewish Community Foundation promotes creating endowments, donor advised funds, and life and legacy giving to help fund our community's Jewish future. In accepting this position of board member, you are accepting all of the responsibilities that traditionally go with this high office. To signify this acceptance, I ask that you provide affirmation by together repeating after me the Hebrew statement, Hineni, which means I am here. I am here to accept the responsibilities of my office. Hineni. You are now duly installed.
Harry, on behalf of the leadership of the Jewish Federation, we wanted to give you this very small token of our appreciation for absolutely everything you have done and will continue to do on behalf of our community. Thank you so much. It's really beautiful. I appreciate it, but it really wasn't necessary. Um, I really believe in what I do, and that's why I do it. I, we know that, and we appreciate it. The David Award and the Sis Levy Award were created to represent and honor these two amazing women of blessed memory for their tireless service and contributions to our community, and most specifically, our seniors. Ethel David was a founder of the Jewish Geriatric Home Auxiliary, the Service and Fundraising Committee of the Jewish Geriatric Home, and later, Lionsgate Skilled Nursing Facility. Sis Levy was a co-founder of the Housing Associates, the Service and Fundraising Committee for Duven, Gesher, and Saltzman. Both Sis and Ethel were involved in so many worthy causes in this community, and embodied the true meaning of tzedakah and tikkun olam, not just with words, but with their actions as well. As the auxiliary and associates merge to form the Friends of Jewish Senior Housing, we choose to continue to honor and remember Sis and Ethel by moving forward with one combined David Levy Award to recognize members of our board who have shown the same dedication to Jewish Senior Housing and our community. This year, there was no question as to who our committee felt exemplifies the spirit of outstanding volunteerism and leadership. As if he isn't busy enough as a husband, father, and a labor attorney extraordinaire, Ian McClinsky has given so generously of his time, his expertise, and his humanity to ensure that we continue to move forward with a strong foundation at senior housing, as well as continuing to forge beautiful relationships with our Federation family of agencies with a special shout out to JFCS as his wife Sue sits on their board. It's with much gratitude that we present the first annual David Levy Award to Ian McClinsky. I wanna thank you all for this wonderful prestigious award. Uh, not that long ago, I was at a reception where the late Justice Ginsburg received an award for her commitment to the legal community and her support of the legal profession. And in her comment, she said, sometimes the less said, the better. So in that vein, I'll keep my comments very short. First, thank you very much for this honor. It's unnecessary, but greatly appreciated. I hope that I can continue my involvement in the community in the spirit of the two women who this prestigious award is named after, Ethel J. David and Sis Levy. Um, their example has helped guide me and I hope helps guide others in their involvement in our local community. Thank you very much. Our agency has been blessed with a rich history of leaders whose vision, leadership, and philanthropy have been a true blessing to the seniors of our community. Helen Spiegel was one such leader, a matriarch of our community, and a champion for one and all. Helen received so many accolades, awards, and recognitions from both Jewish and secular organizations because she not only talked the talk, but she walked the walk. A past board member of the Jewish Geriatric Home Federation and the Community Planning and Advocacy Council of Camden County, Helen was also a co-founder of the Housing Associates. Without question, Helen's greatest legacy was the inspiration she provided to so many others in the community. And it is only fitting that our agency's highest award is given in her name. We are so blessed to have exactly this type of leader in David Gooden. We cannot recall a time when David was not giving his all to ensure the best quality of life for all the residents under our care. His parents lived at Gesher House and David served as the president of the associates. Up until March, when the COVID lockdown began, David would come to Lionsgate after Shabbat services at his beloved synagogue, Bethel, where he as past president, where he is past president and sits on their board. He would visit with the residents and ensure that they are happy and well cared for. As the past president of Jewish Senior Housing and Healthcare Service, David helped to ensure our agency's long-term health through his vision, leadership, and some very difficult decisions. David has served on the Federation Board in many different capacities, and this year is the JFON Campaign Chair. A dedicated husband, father, grandfather, and attorney, David is often mentioned as a Pennsylvania super lawyer in the practice area of family law. And so it is with great pleasure and appreciation for all you do here for our senior housing family 
and our community as well. We present this year's Helen Spiegel Award to David Good. Thank you, Susan, and thank you, Jewish Senior Housing. My involvement with Senior Housing, as Susan mentioned, was a labor of love. It began when my parents began to live at uh, Gesher House, and then it continued when my mother became a resident at skilled nursing at Lionsgate. I've seen firsthand what this agency does for our seniors, and it's my pleasure to continue to give back to this agency in light of everything they did for me and for my family. I look forward to many more years of serving as a volunteer with Jewish Senior Housing, and I'm especially honored and pleased to receive the Helen Spiegel Award and to follow in the tradition of the other individuals who've received this award before me. Thank you again. The experience of this pandemic has given me the incredible opportunity to work more closely with the executive directors of our Federation agencies. For the first five months, we met every single day via Zoom to address our individual and systemic concerns. So much collaboration and effort has been put forth by this group. And I thank you all for everything you've done to strengthen our community and our Federation system. We've shared tears and held each other up as we've moved forward each day of this pandemic. I am so very grateful for each and every one of you. Thank you. Oh, I see Barbara Pick. I see Mark Fendrick, Betty Adler, Albert L. Grissy, Gail and Harvey, Rick Goldstein, Stuart and Joel. Hi everyone, thanks for being here tonight. Harry, we are so excited to welcome you as president of the Jewish Federation of Southern New Jersey and to see where we will go over the next two years. We are thrilled that you are embracing your new role with excitement and fresh ideas on how we can sustain our Jewish community now and into the future. Harry, like Neil before you, you get it. Your family gets it and your family's involvement over the generations gets it. You've been raised for this moment and will lead with the grace and skill with which you put us all at ease in our most difficult times. Hillary, Jacob, Jacqueline, and Dylan, thank you for sharing your husband and father with us. We can't wait to see all that he will accomplish. Now on to our JFED board installation. The following individuals have completed their service as a Jewish Federation Standing Committee Chair and are remaining on the Federation Board of Directors. Harriet Schulman, J Fund. Mark Shapiro, Planning. David Holnick, Yad. Ivy Rovner, Impact and Innovation. Thank you for your service to the Federation and our community. Thank you also to all of the individuals who will continue to serve on their agency boards in existing terms. Their names are in your program. The 2020-2021 slate of Jewish Federation officers and board members as determined by the nominating committee are for president, Harry Platt, for vice president, Ed Rifkin, Ivy Brown Rovner, Scott Seligman, and Missy Wayne. For secretary, Jennifer Dubrow Weiss, nominated for a one-year term, Rabbi Yitzhak Kahan, nominated for a two-year term, Yael Farr, Michael Partnow, Adam Saxteen, nominated for a three-year term, Betty Adler, Karen Elkis, Stacy Lewin Farber, David Holnick, Adam Kaminer, Rabbi Stephen Lindemann, Jeff Resnick, Mark Rosen, Mark Shapiro, Janine Sobel, Harriet Schulman. In addition to those nominated, a number of people serve on the board by virtue of their positions as prescribed in our constitution. Bob Benedon and Rabbi Steve Lindemann, Global Connection Co-Chairs. Ivy Rovner, Planning Chair. Glenn Furman, Funds Development Chair. Rabbi Nathan Weiner, President, Tri-County Board of Jewish Clergy. 
Shira Scanlon, Young Adult Division Chair, Harry Horwitz, Standards and Conflicts Chair, Andy Levin, Budget and Allocations Chair, Donald Love, Olive Chair, Edward Rivkin, Finance Chair, Scott Seligman, Impact and Innovation Chair, David Guten, J Fund Annual Campaign Chair, Missy Wayne, Board Governance Co-Chair, Glenn Furman, Past President, Neil Levin, Immediate Past President and Board Governance Co-Chair. I have been informed by our Secretary, Jen Weiss, that there have been no additional nominations, and I therefore call upon the Secretary to cast a unanimous ballot. Those who I have just named are elected by acclamation. By accepting this position as a Jewish Federation board member, you are accepting all of the responsibilities that traditionally go with this esteemed office. Please signify that you formally accept these responsibilities as a member of the Federation board by saying, Hineni. Mazel tov. And now for the installation of the Jewish Federation officers. Along with the responsibilities of serving as a board member, you are being asked to provide leadership as an officer of the Federation. Your task is to be supportive of your president and work with him to offer the leadership necessary to the Federation during this coming year. Please signify your acceptance for a one-year term to serve as an officer by saying, Hineni. Hineni. Harry, you have been nominated to serve as the president of the Jewish Federation of Southern New Jersey. I share with everyone here on Zoom the confidence that you will serve our Federation and our community admirably. I know how truly dedicated you are to our Federation and its mission to build community and enhance the quality of Jewish life here in Southern New Jersey, in Israel, and around the world. It is therefore with great happiness for you and our community that I ask you to signify your acceptance of your nomination for a one-year term as president of the Jewish Federation of Southern New Jersey by saying, Hineni. Hineni. Mazel tov. Hey, Harry. I'm Brian Propp, your favorite Flyer alumni left winger. I'm happy to be the first person to congratulate you as a president of the Jewish Federation of South Jersey. I know about the wonderful services and programs that Jewish Federation have. They do so much for the community. I'm sure that you will continue to make South Jersey a great place to live. Congratulations and goodbye. Hey, honey, I'm so excited to be watching you, my amazing husband, being sworn in as president of Federation. Oh, I'm getting the clumps. <laughs> it comes as no surprise to anybody who loves you and knows you because you embody all that community service truly is. And you have given that gift to both myself and the children, leading by example, showing us what that means. And I also know that our children will continue to serve the community as they have watched their father, Lador Vador. I know that the swearing in is certainly unconventional and the next few years might be as well, but no one is better to lead the way than you. You've worn many hats over the years, to mention a few, Mayor Voorhees, head of your Masonic Lodge, committee man, and now Mr. President. You have done all with humility and being humble and selflessness. And on the theme of being humble, just remember that as you're always sworn in on a Tuesday night, you still got to take out the trash. Love you. Congratulations, Congratulations Dad. Dad. We know how much of a role model and a community leader you already are. And we are so excited to see all that you get to do and accomplish with Federation. South Jersey, the Jewish community, and us are very lucky to have you. Congratulations, Congratulations Mr. President. President. We, we love, love you. you. Congratulations, Dad. Everyone is so proud of you, and we all know that, that you're going to do an amazing job, even in these weird times. 
time and time again, you've proven to everyone that you can handle anything thrown at you. So everyone knows that you are the man for the job. Once again, mazel tov, Mr. President, and congrats on everything. Love you. Harry, mom and I are very proud of your accomplishments and all that you do for the Jewish Federation. It's always been important to us that you care so much about our community and that you're passing that along to your children. Mom and I have always appreciated your sense of humor, your compassion, and your tenacity. We know what you are capable of, and we're looking forward for the next two years for the growth and positivity of the Jewish Federation under your leadership as president. We wish you a mazel tov. We love you. Harry, fasten your seatbelts. We look forward to your stewardship during these challenging times. We look forward to working with you to explore new opportunities as we continue to muddle through the pandemic with a great board of directors and strong professional leadership. We're excited to work with you over the next two years to continue to serve and strengthen our Jewish community and the world. Wow, thank you so much. That was really special. <laughs> Let me start by wishing Mazel Tov to Glenn Furman on being awarded the H. Richard Dollinger Community Service Award David Holnick for being awarded the Shelley Greenspun Young Leadership Award, and Charlene Green on receiving the Jewish Federation Staff Achievement Award. These are honors that are so well deserved. Mazel tov to all of you. I'd also like to wish a mazel tov to all the incoming presidents, presidents being sworn in for their second term, and new agency board members. Thank you for all that you do, and thank you for your service. I want to thank my family. The incredible love of my life, Hillary, my children, Jacob and Jacqueline and Dylan, for once again putting up with me as I begin my next role in our community. It has always been a goal of mine to be part of creating a community that will make my children want to stay and live here. Two weeks ago, Jacqueline and Dylan bought a home in Voorhees and Jacob, who I work with side by side, will always call South Jersey his home. I guess my next goal will be to create a neighborhood and a world that my grandchildren will want to live in as well. To mom and dad, you are the community builders that I always wanted to emulate. I am so lucky that I have both of you in my life and you are there for every exciting chapter. Thank you all and I love you all. Good evening, everyone. And thank you for tuning in to what I'm sure is the most unusual annual meeting in the Jewish Federation history. We have already made history tonight as I believe I am the first president of the Jewish Federation of Southern New Jersey to be sworn in without wearing pants. In a normal world, I would hope to be hearing laughter right about now. I would also hope that people laugh when I mention that during my remarks, except for now, I will not use the terms unprecedented times, extraordinary times, or challenging times. We already know the world we are living in, and we all know it is anything but normal right now. We are living in a community that we all know is strong, vibrant, and connected to each other. But we still continue to look for ways to be stronger for our families and friends, search for ways to help more, and to find ways to stay connected to each other. Over the next two years, I look to build stronger connections, not only to our own Jewish community, but to our regional and global community as well. Our new Federation Board has already begun working even before tonight's installation. This is a board that truly reflects who the Jewish community of Southern New Jersey is. Our board encompasses Jews of colors and Orthodox Jews, Reform, conservative and LGBTQ Jews. We are stronger as a community because of who we are as individuals, individuals working together towards the same common goals with different perspectives. Thank you so much for all of you for sitting on the Federation board this year. I feel so grateful to be surrounded by the wealth of talent that all of you bring to the table. I'm extremely happy that Missy Wayne, Ivy Rovner, and Ed Rifkin have accepted my invitation to continue as vice presidents of JFED. The three of them combined have invaluable knowledge of the Jewish Federation's operations and finances. They plan carefully, accordingly, and thoughtfully. And I cannot imagine serving as president without them by my side. I have also asked Scott Seligman to join me, to join the officers and serve as a vice president. Scott's knowledge of the system, his work on many boards and his shared vision of the right moves that will keep Federation operating effectively and efficiently 
is something that will mesh well with the other VPs. Thank you, Missy, Ivy, Ed, and Scott for accepting this very important role. Although I refer to my VPs as the dream team, all, almost all of us have served together as vice president under our outgoing president, Neil Levin. Neil, thank you for your years of service. It's more than just your two years of service as president. It's also the past decade of involvement to ensure the continuity of service to those who need it most. When our state came to a grinding halt in March, JFED was still providing all of those services that we could and more to take care of those who had nowhere else to turn. This, Neil, speaks to the leadership that we had with you serving as president. Thank you very much. We are also blessed with the CEO who has spent her entire life serving this community. Jen Weiss is never at a loss for good ideas or different ways to achieve the best outcomes. In preparation for becoming president, I've been reading many emails from our National Federation offices. While reading them, I am realizing how well positioned we are because of how innovative and forward thinking Jen is. Her leadership is more evident when you look back at the past seven months. Thank you, Jen, for all you do. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And thank you for the coffee every Tuesday morning. Goals have been set for the next two years that will strengthen our ability to do what we do best. I am looking forward to working with Jen to help make the recently established Heroes Campaign a major success. This campaign will create financial stability and make JFED self-sufficient. It will also allow dollars received to be put into areas that will have the most impact for our community. This past year, JFUND raised close to $5 million through grants, gifts, our 1721 and COVID campaign, and of course, our annual Super Sunday fundraiser. These funds have gone to make our established areas of impact so meaningful to our community. The apartments at Weinberg Commons continue to welcome new residents, including the special needs apartments. For older adults and those with special needs, this is their area of impact. And our contributions make their lives exponentially better. While COVID has stopped a lot of things from happening, it has unfortunately not stopped anti-Semitism and hate from growing at a faster pace than we have seen in recent memory. It is my goal to focus on bridges with other communities who are also experiencing the rise in hate. Having a coalition unified against anti-Semitism, systemic racism, or any other form of prejudicial treatment for others will be a strong force against the attitudes of those who are harming our world with hate. JCRC will lead us in building these regional alliances. We have an area of impact called community engagement. Strengthening our community is what that area of impact is all about. I have never seen an organization adapt to a crisis the way the Jewish Family and Children's Service did as the global pandemic took a grip on our region. Practically overnight, JFCS, Federation, and hundreds of volunteers began providing food, ShopRite gift cards, and home delivery to hundreds more homes than they used to with no additional staff to help. The funds to provide food to our seniors and families were made possible through everyone's generous contributions to our COVID fund. JFCS continues to provide food, counseling and supportive services through telehealth and Zoom and good old fashioned phone calls to make sure that our families, our children and those who are most vulnerable continue to receive the services that are absolutely essential. Family and youth is one of our areas of impact that can lift up families and change a person's life forever. The work that Federation does in this area of impact is irreplaceable. I believe that it is our job to make sure that every Jewish person understands the importance of having a Jewish homeland and to know that the United States will always have an ally in the Middle East. I saw the anti-Israel and BDS movements in full force when my daughter was at Rutgers University. One of our areas of impact is global connections, making sure that no matter where we are, our connection to Israel and our identity remains as strong as possible. I spoke to our co-chairs of Global Connections and I asked them in addition to the grants that they allocate to also make connections with colleges and students this year. While Hillel's and Chabad's are functioning differently on campus this year, and missions to Israel are not happening right now, we need to make sure 
that the concerns of Israel are still front and center in those venues, like college campuses, where anti-Israel sentiment is so strong. In this year's budget, we showed a reduction in our global connection line item. This is mainly due to the missions to Israel being canceled this year. It is my pledge that the funds for global connection be restored as soon as possible so that we can continue to maintain our connection to our homeland. Our personal health and wellness is also a concern when we have been told to social distance. The JCC has shown tremendous resilience in establishing programs that can take place under the current conditions. They have been innovative in developing a workout schedule by appointment, J School and J Hearts, just to name a few of the ways that they have pivoted to serve their membership. We know that the JCC is a very visible part of our system. Our Federation leadership will continue to work hand in hand with the JCC board to ensure the continuum of services that the JCC provides. I am sure that there was an area that I mentioned over the past few minutes that has had an impact on your life or the lives of your friends and relatives. That is the powerful connection of the Jewish Federation of Southern New Jersey. You have entrusted me to be the steward of these community connections for the next two years. As president, it is my pledge to each of you to continue to move us forward, to continue to address the ever-changing needs of our community, and to ensure that we live up to our stated goal. And I quote, our goal as Federation is to bring Jewish communities together, promote Jewish life and learning, and connect to our culture and heritage and to strengthen that bond. We work tirelessly for our community and we serve vulnerable populations to help those in need locally and around the world. We do our best to inspire our children and our children's children to embrace Jewish life and continue that legacy. This is my hope for our community, along with my best wishes for a very healthy and very happy new year. Thank you very much.
Before we honor tonight's other award winners, I want to say a quick hi to Judy and Don Love, Adam Kaminer, Vicki and Brian Zell, and Ellen Bass. Thanks for being here tonight. I'd now like to thank my staff team at the Jewish Federation for going above and beyond day after day without a break during the past seven months. My gratitude is endless for all that has been done and, it can, and continues to get done. You amaze me each and every day. It is my honor to now acknowledge our staff who are celebrating special work anniversaries. We're blown away by your dedication, hard work, and loyalty to our Federation system. Please help me celebrate all that these individuals have accomplished. For 30 years, Les Cohen, JCC. Celebrating 25 years, Brian Adler, JCC. Celebrating 20 years, Barbara Abrams and Margaret Costello, JFCS, Eileen Abrams, Ken Bowersfeld, Claudette Prather and Louise Urbanski, JCC, Barbara Dylan Schneider and Helene Klimberg, JFED. Celebrating 15 years, Randy Alexander, Nancy Davis, Judy Mulberg, Ruth Oviedo, Deborah Pearl, JCC, and Becky Springell, JCC. Reva Thurbeck Breitman, Pam Litwack, and Karen Marks, JFCS, Sabrina Spector, JCRC, and Lana Sudakova, JFED. Celebrating 10 years, Jackie Bernard, The Voice, Ronit Boyd, Tanya Harmon Lloyd, and David Snyder from JFED, Nancy Caparuso and Colette Shepard, JCC, and Ronnie Trainer, JFCS. And now for the presentation of this year's Staff Achievement Award to Charlene Green, Director of Leadership and Learning. I am honored to present this year's Staff Achievement Award to Charlene Green, our Leadership and Learning Director. Charlene was selected by her coworkers for her devotion to the work of the Jewish Federation, distinguishing herself this past year by going above and beyond her normal job performance and distinguishing herself in her working relationships. Charlene's co-workers chose to honor her and offered the following quotes. When quarantine started, Charlene worked tirelessly to ensure that the work of the Federation continued without interruption. In addition to onboarding new staff and continuing to engage our community in innovative ways, Charlene helped our entire Federation family transition to Zoom. I affectionately call Charlene our Zoom genius. She has coordinated every webinar, whether it be for JFED, JFCS, JCRC, it doesn't matter what Jay needed her. She was happy to help. Even before COVID, Charlene had been someone people could go to if they needed help, no matter how busy she is or how small the question may be. She always makes time for her colleagues and she is committed to carrying out Federation's mission it is an honor to be her colleague. Another colleague stated, she is the most fabulous, wonderful, talented, creative superstar. So Charlene, if you could join me on behalf of the Jewish Federation staff, please accept this award. And you are a shining star and we are so grateful you share your light with all of us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for this high honor. It is incredible to be recognized. I want to congratulate all my fellow honorees. It has been fabulous getting to know you these last couple of years, and it is a well-deserved honor. I want to thank my family, Andy, Archer, and Beck for being so supportive while I put so much time into our Jewish Federation and family of agencies. Our accomplishments through this year are directly due to the visionary leadership of Jen. Thank you so much, Jen, for your guidance. I'm immensely grateful to work with Ronit Boyd and our partnership, working together to support our mission for a thriving Jewish community. Thank you. I am pleased to have been asked to present David Holnick with our community's Shelley Greenspun Young Leadership Award. I had the privilege of knowing Shelley and working with her when she ran Federation's Young Leadership Program in the 1980s. David is just the kind of leader that Shelley liked to cultivate and bring along. David grew up in Westchester, Pennsylvania. 
He and his wife, Jill, moved to South Jersey in 2013. He manages IT operations for Sage Financial Group, a wealth management firm. He and Jill belong to Congregation Bethel, where their son Micah is enrolled in kindergarten. David has served on the synagogue board for several years. He is a graduate of our Federation Leadership Institute program and has served as both vice chair and chair of our young adult division. He's worked on the Super Sunday Committee and the PJ Library Committee. He has served as a member of the Federation Board since 2018. He and Jill understand the importance of building both a strong Jewish family and a strong Jewish community. I look forward to working with David for many years to come as he helps to move this community forward to an even brighter future. Congratulations, David. Thank you, David. I am honored to accept this year's Shelley Greenspun Award. Throughout the years, Shelley helped foster our community's young adult leadership, and I am honored now to be a part of that legacy. The Jewish Federation has always been there for me, and I am so grateful to return that kindness in service to the Jewish Federation and our community. Growing up in Chester County, I held many leadership roles in BBYO, and the Jewish Federation financially supported me, enabling me to participate in teen leadership trainings, experience the March of the Living, and travel to Israel. Later, as a young adult living in Philadelphia, the Jewish Federation helped connect me with like-minded peers and quench that thirst for involvement in the local Jewish community. When my wife, Jill, and I moved to Southern New Jersey in 2013, we looked to the Jewish Federation to help connect us with opportunities and friendships. Shortly after that, we had our son, Micah, and as young parents, we looked to the Jewish Federation to guide us in our new role. As a new father, I joined the PJ Library Committee and participated in our Federation's Leadership Institute. To become more involved, I joined our Super Sunday Committee and upon completing FLY, I became vice chair for Yad, and the following year, I took over as chair. I would be remiss if I did not thank the incredible staff and lay leadership of the Federation. In particular, Charlene Green has been an amazing partner in our work to rebuild Yad. Two years ago, we successfully launched the Jews and Brews series. In that time, we have introduced over 100 Jewish changemakers in their 20s, 30s, and 40s to each other and to all of the fantastic things that the Jewish Federation of Southern New Jersey has to offer. I hope that through their participation, many will continue as volunteers and advocates for our Jewish community. Thank you to my amazing wife, Jill, for her support and patience as I took on these roles and others. She is no stranger to this world as the Chief Impact Officer of BBYO, the organization where the two of us met as teenagers. I hope that our son Micah, now a kindergartner at Bethel, will one day appreciate and emulate his parents' involvement in the community and Kalal Yisrael. I look forward to where our Jewish Federation will take me through my next life cycles, and I am excited to be a part of it. Thank you. David, I'm happy to present the Shelley Greenspun Young Leadership Award to you on behalf of the Jewish Federation. Thank you. I have two minutes to introduce this year's recipient of the Richard H. Dollinger Community Service Award, the highest honor bestowed by our Federation. As I am not a speed talker, this really is an impossible task. Fortunately, it is my honor and privilege to introduce Glenn Furman, a person who truly needs no introduction. As tempting as it is, time simply will not allow me to regale you with stories of Glenn's prowess and calm, cool, and controlled demeanor on the JCC basketball court. His dedication and commitment to remain up-to-date and state-of-the-art prepared when it comes to technology, his culinary skills and strict and disciplined diet, or his passion for all Philadelphia sports. Time also does not allow me to review Glenn's biography in detail. He is a lifelong South Jersey resident and local lawyer with deep and wide roots in our beloved community. We all know Glenn very well, and to know him is truly is to love him. In fact, the more you get to know him, 
the more you learn to love him. Glenn has the purest of souls. Glenn cares deeply about his and our community. He is a past president of, our, of the Catch JCC Community Center, a past president of our Jewish Federation, and a current Saltzman Foundation trustee. He has served our community at the highest levels with terrific distinction for decades. And there is no doubt that Glenn has had a lasting and indelible impression upon our community, and perhaps more importantly, upon each of us. Glenn is the rare combination of a person with boundless passion for community and great intellect, and is always at the ready to speak up, step up, and do that which is necessary to move our system in the right direction. Glenn is fond of saying that his favorite sign is the cornerstone at the entrance of our campus. The cornerstone says, Lador Vador, from generation to generation. I think that Glenn's admiration for that cornerstone tells us everything we really need to know about Glenn and why he is so richly deserving of this honor. Glenn has the utmost respect for the incredible gifts bestowed upon us by those who came before us. He recognizes and appreciates how awesome our Jewish community is, the services it offers, and the contribution it makes. He knows very well that this did not happen by accident, but rather by thoughtful planning, spirited fundraising, and shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder community build building by leaders with passion, commitment, and dedication similar to Glenn's. People like Dick Dollinger, for whom this award is named. He appreciates and is driven by the importance of assuring that our community sustains its greatness and continues to grow, thrive, and prosper so that the next generation and the ones that follow enjoy the wonderful benefits of living in a community that cares. It is for this singular reason that I am proud, grateful, and honored to present the Richard H. Dollinger Community Service Award to my good friend, Glenn Furman. Good evening. Tonight, I am truly honored to be receiving the H. Richard Dollinger Community Service Award, and I am at a loss for words. Almost. Which I guess is a good thing, since I was told that at this first joint Federation Agency annual meeting, speeches were to be shorter. And it's my hope that some will be, just not this one. I'd like to first congratulate all incoming and outgoing Federation and agency presidents and board members, as well as tonight's other honorees. You should all take pride in your achievements. I'd next like to thank the nominating committee for selecting me to be the recipient of this year's Dollinger Community Service Award. Sincere thanks to my friend, Bob Schwartz, for his kind words and introduction. Bob, your secretary can stop calling me. I told her the check is in the mail. Although I always supported Federation's annual campaign, my first 15 years of volunteering was limited to the JCC. In 2009, as a result of becoming JCC president, I got to serve on the Federation Board and Executive Committee. It was Federation President Bob Schwartz who taught me what it was to be a communal leader and to see beyond your own agency and to get the bigger picture. I said, okay, I can do this for two years. Then I retire from volunteer life. I had a game plan. Sit in the back, keep quiet, don't offer opinions, don't get involved, don't talk. I said, well, that's easy. Everyone who knows me knows I don't talk. Well, at the end of the two years, my friends, friends, I say, then Federation President Bob Schwartz and Vicki Zell said they wanted to take me to lunch. I guess it's true. There is no such thing as a free lunch. They asked me to remain on the Federation board and to become a Federation vice president. And I guess the rest is history. When one receives an award named in memory of someone, it's customary to speak to the family, to learn more about the person for whom the prestigious award is named. For me, that was not necessary. I had the honor of knowing Dick Dollinger for many years. My fondest recollection of Dick Dollinger is seeing him many times a week, wrapped in his big towel, sitting in the TV room of the JCC spa, trying to solve his daily crossword puzzle and occasionally asking me for help with a few clues. Good memories. Dick Dollinger was a true mensch and a communal leader like no other. He led by example with generosity in terms of both dollars given and time spent helping our Federation. Dick Dollinger had a passion, commitment, and love for Federation. 
In fact, he had two great loves, his family and his community, and often the two were intertwined. He is sorely missed. I can't tell you how many times I've heard people say on Super Sunday that if we only had a few more Dick Dollingers, or even just the one we all loved so much, we'd be just fine. Winston Churchill, a hero of mine, has been in the news recently, often being quoted by various politicians. Churchill once stated, I no longer listen to what people say. I just watch what they do. Behavior never lies. In dealing with Dick Dollinger, this was a really easy task since the behavior and words were always consistent. I am humbled when I look at the long list of prior award recipients, many of whom I have had the pleasure to know personally, to learn from, and to be mentored by. Many of these prior recipients are now my friends. It is said that you are judged by the company you keep. To be the recipient of this award, named after my friend H. Richard Dollinger, and to share that distinction with so many other community leaders and to now be included in their company is the honor of a lifetime. My volunteer life at the JCC started when my friend David Butler asked me to join the JCC board 25 years ago. I had one job at that time, make sure that the one basketball court at the old JCC was always reserved for the men's adult basketball league on Tuesday and Thursday nights. I told David I was willing to serve but that I was not a fundraiser and would not be asking anyone for money. Talk about irony. Over the years, it's been my honor to chair multiple JCC Lexus Audi raffles, the JCC capital campaign for the fitness center expansion, the J fund annual campaign, and for the past few years, funds development. So much for no fundraising. I guess the moral of this story is be open-minded and willing to take a chance. Challenge yourself. Go beyond your comfort zone. You might just end up surprising yourself. I know I did. As Bob Schwartz said, anyone who knows me knows that I love the saying on the front of our campus building, Lador Vador, from generation to generation. For a lifetime, I have been a recipient of all that this system has to offer. Going back to 1960, when as a five-year-old, and maybe a little hyperactive, both my bus and I bounced down a dirt-filled Tuckerton Road on the way to the JCC camps in Medford for the first day ever of camp at that location. Fast forwarding 60 years, how lucky we are to live in a community that has our federation and its family of agencies who together provide an incredible array, depth, and quality of programming and services, literally serving everyone from infants in diapers to those in their 90s in no, I'm not going there. But folks, this doesn't happen on its own. It happens as a result of a professional staff led by the one and only Jennifer Dubrow Weiss and her team, and all of the other employees of Federation and the agencies. It also doesn't happen without the incredible lay leadership on display tonight. In these unprecedented times, Federation and the agencies have faced a once in a century challenge from both a health and from a financial perspective. While all communities across the country face these challenges, our federation has met them head on and in a collaborative manner. Yes, our integrated system is well positioned to face whatever is thrown our way. As we view these challenges, not just as an impediment, but also as an opportunity to emerge from this pandemic and recession stronger than ever before. Whew. So tonight I'm being honored for volunteering. As I've often said, no matter how much I give, I get back so much more in return. Volunteering is about finding a passion. I hope each of you finds yours. Speaking of passion, while we all advocate for the agencies that we love, the other key to being a successful volunteer and a true leader is to know when it's time to compromise, to be a consensus builder, to see a bigger picture. I've always strived to do this. Not always successfully, but that's always the goal. So in conclusion, one usually gets this award as they are on the way out and towards the end of their life. I hope that for me, this is not the case, though a constant reminder the next two years will be staring at Harry Platt at every single meeting. Harry Mazel tov. I am sure you will be a great president. Having said that, I have three pieces of advice. First, Lighten up, lose the black suit, 
try khakis, try some colorful sweaters. I think the people will like it. Second, don't start every meeting by tapping your microphone and asking us to please turn off our cell phones or place them in vibrate so that we can start the service. Oh, I mean meeting. Third, when the meeting gets unruly, and it often will, remember, use the gavel. Don't bang with that little shovel you're going to use one day to put the dirt on me. Thank you. In an effort to avoid this inevitable fate, I try to keep busy, currently serving on the Federation Board, the JCC Board, the JCF Board, and starting last year as a new Saltzman trustee, which reminds me, Andy, did I fill out my conflict of interest form? I hope so. As a Saltzman trustee, I get to work with a talented group of fellow trustees and an amazing executive director, Vicki Zell, as we together support Federation, the agencies, the day schools, and the Jewish community as a whole. So I'm going to end this speech by again quoting Winston Churchill. In 1942, at a key point in World War II, just after the British had routed Rommel's forces at El Alamein in Egypt, and when asked if the war was almost finally at an end, Churchill famously replied, now this is not the end. It is not even the beginning of the end, but it is perhaps the end of the beginning. As for my volunteering serving this community that I love so much, I hope that for me, this is also the case and that I am only at the end of the beginning. Even I can't say that with a straight face. I'll take being at the beginning of the end. Thank you and good night. Glenn. Mazel tov again to Glenn, David, Charlene, Harry, Margie, Marcy, and all of the board members who were installed tonight. Thank you to everyone for being here and sharing the evening with us. Stay well, st stay safe, and we miss you.